These are two very unique uh, systems and uh, they're actually patented and they're designed for the propane industry. In the 500P, we use the propane as the cooling medium to cool the hydraulic system. There's absolutely no moving parts in this system, very accessible to change filters, and uh, it's a very popular unit for a hydraulic option on a bobtail system today. The truck behind me is our favorite truck in the whole fleet. It's got the 500P hydraulic unit on it. It's also got the 100P stabilizer unit on it. So we're drawing heat off the hydraulic unit and the stabilizer, which, which all adds to the heat that goes back into the tank and keeps that flow smooth and steady throughout the whole delivery. Another advantage of the 500P and the 100P is tank stabilization. The heat load that's removed from the hydraulic system goes back into the product side and adds a vapor pressure into the tank to cause better pumping conditions, uh, especially in lower temperatures. So where the 500P came in, it's a really a genius piece of equipment, is that it takes the inefficiencies of both propane and the inefficiencies in a hydraulic pump drive system. So what we're doing there is we're taking propane and we're putting it through a heat exchanger that has two circuits in it. One of them has the propane flowing through it, the other one has hydraulic fluid flowing through it. Now the hydraulic fluid has heat in it from going through the system, through the pump, the motor, comes back warm. We take that propane, liquid propane coming off of the pump and we put those two together through several plates, exchange that heat, that liquid propane now flashes, becomes vapor, and vapor pressure now is restored back up inside the tank. So it tricks it essentially into thinking that we have a vapor hose connected. Since we put the 100P on our bulk trucks, we've noticed that we maintain a constant flow all the way throughout the whole load. On the other trucks that we did not have the 100P on, they'd pump good at the beginning of the load, maybe 60, 70 gallons a minute, then towards the bottom, they'd drop off to 40, 35 gallons per minute, and they'd chatter a lot because they were not getting a full flow of propane at all times. With that 100P, it, it takes the antifreeze from the motor and runs it through this heat exchanger and we're running propane through there and bringing it back into our supply tank and keeping the pressure up, the head pressure up on the pump at all times and it runs smooth all the way throughout the whole load. We love them.